I was in a lot of pain with my knee and my back had been giving me a lot of trouble. And I never really thought a whole lot about anything a bit more sinister or serious. I just noticed her slowing down to get more difficult to walk, but also she was more agitated, I'd say. We knew she was in pain and we knew she was hurting, like we, we didn't know why, we couldn't do anything about it. And then my diagnosis. By the time it was finalized, I think I was having very, very real conversations with myself as to how this was going to end for me. I took back control um, and I'm so thankful that I did. And I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that because that was through reading. I would attribute reading to completely educating myself on how I was going to get myself out of the dark clouds, back on the right path. So. Mom set us down, me, Evan, her and dad, and she showed us this booklet. And inside she just put all her symptoms and how it's gonna affect us and the family and was very reassuring. When she first told us, I was, I was really worried and I, I was kinda scared in a way. And the booklet really helped me to understand that. No, she's not gonna die. She's just gonna have some things that she can't do as well, but it's not gonna affect us as much as she thought it would at first. My children, Lauren and Evan, who are now 14 and 16, would have taken part in Readathon in primary school. Over the month of November, you'd have to write down all the books or comics or anything you're interested in reading, reading like there's something for everyone. Like I remember in fifth class, I took out a Diary of a Wimpy Kid book. And then ever since then, I've sort of been hooked into Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. David Williams, Gangster Granny. Oh my God, that book was emotional. I had to close the book. I couldn't open it for weeks. I was bawling, crying. I'm delighted to be an ambassador for Read It On. For a child, it is to ignite their imagination. And for some children, it would set the foundation for what they may go on to become. It does definitely improve your literacy skills. Like. Taking that next step from primary to secondary, it's really helpful when you go on to the harder novels to have experience. Like, I would encourage people to do readathon. I think it is a great opportunity for young people to read what they're interested in, and it's also a great way to raise money for MS Ireland. Um, the organisation has done so much for my mom and helped her in so many ways, and I'd love to see other people getting the support that she got and she's so needed.